Good day and welcome to another language session with Teacher Pam. Today we are going to look at how to write a letter. Writing a letter is simply another way for us to communicate. We have always communicated by speaking to and with one another and each other. We also communicate by using technology. But for today, we are going to put pen to paper and we are going to write a letter. Writing a letter. Peter has decided to write a letter to his granddad. Peter would like to tell granddad all about his visit to the zoo. There are five parts that must be included in every letter. Let us look at the five parts that Peter needs to know while he is writing his letter. The first is the address and the date. The second is the greeting. The third is the body, what you want to tell the person. The fourth is the closing, that is a short expression followed by a comma. And the fifth is the signature. This tells the reader who the letter is from. The first part is the address and then the date. Peter has to write his address on the top right hand side of a clean, fresh page. When he's written his address, he will write the date. That is the day he is writing the letter. The second part is his greeting. How is he going to greet his granddad? He will skip a line after the date and then he writes, Dear Grandfather, and we always put a comma at the end of our greeting. Peter is now going to write the third part of his letter. He writes, On Wednesday last week, our class went to the zoo. We were fascinated by all the animals we saw. The guide even allowed us to feed a few of the animals. The animals were really great. We saw lion, elephant, tigers and rhino. My favourite animal is the rhino. It is massive. If Peter is not completed all the content, he can skip a line and begin another paragraph and tell Grandad even more about the zoo. The fourth part is the closing of Peter's letter. He will skip one line after writing his content and write his closing, that is your grandson. And remember, he puts a comma at the end of his closing. And finally, the fifth part of the letter is the signature. 
Peter will just add his signature to the end of the letter so that his granddad will know who wrote this letter. Let us read this letter and then identify the five steps. Sector 17, Fashi, New Bombay, 6th of July, 2013. Dear Maya, thank you very much for your last letter. It was great to hear from you after so many months. You seem to be having a nice time in France. Thanks also for the photographs. I absolutely loved that snap of yours standing in front of the Eiffel Tower. France looks stunning. Someday I would definitely like to go there. There's not much happening here. I am busy with my work and kids. By the way, are you coming home anytime soon? If you are, let me know the dates and we can arrange to meet up. Hope to see you soon. Aditi. Let us look for the five steps in this letter. Step one, there is an address and a date. Step two, there's my greeting. Step three, the body and the contents of the letter. Step four is the closing. And step five is the signature. You will notice that between each paragraph, Aditi has skipped a line. That makes for an easy way to read the letter and a change of information. You can also skip a line when you have completed the body of your letter and you are ready to write your closing sentence. In this case, Aditi wrote, Hope to see you soon. Now it is your turn to write a letter. Write a letter to a friend, telling him or her what you have done during the school holidays. Remember to use the five steps.